Compound interest is what we're talking about. It's a mathematical explosion. Einstein said that compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. Now compound interest is simply this. You take your money down to the bank. Let's take this thousand dollars and we take it down to the bank and we put the money in the bank. Now you leave it there and it earns interest and you leave the interest there. The next year you earn interest on the thousand dollars and on the interest. The next year you earn interest on the thousand dollars on the interest and on the interest and you leave it there again. The next year you earn interest on the thousand dollars on the interest on the interest and on the interest and then you leave it there again. That's what compound interest is. The trick with investing is you got to start and you got to start right now. You got to get started. So we're going to get the thousand dollars out of the way. We're going to get the emergency fund built as quickly as we can. We're going to get you out of debt and then we're going to get you investing as fast as we can in these baby steps because time needs to be on your side. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's look at Ben and Arthur for a minute. Ben starts saving money at 19 years old. He saves $2,000 a year. He does that all the way up until age 26. At age 27, you will notice Ben puts in zero. Say zero. zero. At 27, he quits putting money in, but he's got, the, he's got the pump primed. The snowball is there. It's starting to roll down the hill, and every time it rolls over, it picks up more snow because it's a bigger ball each time it rolls over. Then his brother Arthur on the other side, he looks up and says, ooh, ooh, Ben's saving money. I need to save money. He starts saving money at age 27. Now, let's fast forward all the way to the end of the story at age 65 and see what happens. What happens is, at the end of the story, Ben has put in $16,000 and has ended up with $2,200,000. Arthur, who put in $78,000, only ends up with $1,500,000. The guy who put in $78,000 later ends up with $700,000 less than the guy who put in 16000 earlier. Some of you are looking at that and going, that's a real nice chart if I was 19. <laughs> well, let me tell you this. If you're in here and you're under 25 years old and you grasp what I just showed you intellectually to the point that it drops from your brain into your heart and changes your behaviors, I just made you a multimillionaire. You shouldn't be allowed to graduate from college or high school without being able to explain that chart. It would change America if people understood that chart. So what are we going to do? Well, if you're under 25, I just gave you a hint. Some of you in here are like me, you're like over 45. If you're over 45, raise your hand. You probably have a message for those in here that are under 25. You probably want to say something to them like, do it. One, two, three. Wow. <laughs> Young people, did you hear the voice of regret? <laughs> One lady said, am I too old to save money? Not if you're still sucking wind. <laughs> it's not over until you quit. Colonel Sanders never fried any chicken until he was 67 years old. Started Kentucky Fried Chicken as a 67-year-old. Why? Because he couldn't live on a Social Security check. Grandma Moses never painted a painting until she was 85 years old. She did 1,500 works of art. 450 of which she did after age 100. A couple of summers back, my family and I was blessed to get to visit Rome, and one of the tours we went on was through the Vatican. And across the back wall of the Vatican is a thing about three times the size of this area. Uh, on the back wall, this masterpiece of the return of Christ at the end of times. And our tour guide told us that that was painted there by a 78-year-old Michelangelo. It's not over until you quit. But with this money stuff, it's a lot easier if you'll get started now. The sooner you start, the less it takes and the easier it is because you establish that discipline, you establish that pattern in your life.